Here's a little rant for you. Man, it was killing me not to cover this just a little bit ago when I made some back videos, but they were still right there using the machines next to me. So it's like two in the morning now. Doing back some lat pull downs. Look over. Oh yeah, warning, this will probably be an explicit content kind of video. I'm gonna swear a lot. I don't want anybody to get their feelings hurt. Don't show this to your eight year old. By the way, none of my videos are for an eight year old. But, these fucking two kids, probably like 19 years old, maybe 20, I don't know. In between sets, they're fucking passing a vape back and forth, like an e-cigarette. Well, I think it's an e-cigarette, who knows? Weed's all cool and shit now, which is fine and dandy, but like, dude, you're at the gym. Like, I smoke an e-cigarette too, and I smoke cigarettes for like 15 years. And I'm only smoking these cigarettes, so I don't smoke cigarettes. And really, for everybody else's safety. Because if I totally quit, I'll fucking flip out. But you don't need to fucking smoke between sets. Even when I'm here for two hours, I can make it before I go puff on my e-cigarette when I get home. You can't make it two sets, three sets. Most people only work out for 30 to 60 minutes. Like you can't fucking go without that stupid ass e-cigarette or Newport. Jesus Christ. I remember when I was in high school, I started working out at the local powerhouse with my brother. And I was an asshole kid. I, I was 16, not even probably, because he was driving me. Probably about 15 years old. I know I was 15 when I joined because it was only $99 a year back then. He's driving me. We're on our way to the gym. I'm 15. I'm already a little fucking wild ass coke. My 15th birthday, I got all my money pulled together and bought a half ounce of coke. And me and two buddies finished it all in one night. So that just gives you a little tidbit of how there was no progression in Joe's party. It was never a party. But anyways, back to the point. Get in the truck, I'm drinking pre-workout that I got for my brother, because I'm 15 and I don't have money for 30, 40, 50 dollar a bottle supplements, you know. And uh, get going down the road, I light up a Marlboro 27, those nasty ones that taste like burning leaves, burning wet leaves. But you know, when you're 15, you just smoke what everybody else is smoking, because really we all did start smoking because it was cool and we were bored. So I light up, my brother's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, having a cigarette. He's like, the first hour before your workout and the hour following your workout is like the most important. The, the one before is fueling your workout. So whatever you just got done digesting and your pre-workout or sleep or whatever, you know, stuff like that. That's what's driving your workout. So now you're driving your workout with the Marlboro, you stupid motherfucker. And same goes for after. Everything you do for about an hour after is refueling your body, replenishing your muscles, replenishing your energy, replenishing your respiratory system with air since you just did a lot of work. Well, if you tried, you did. Not everybody tries it. So now don't fucking have a cigarette when you leave the gym either. Get home from the gym. Eat your first meal. Sit down for a half hour. If you can't go 45 minutes, one hour, hour and a half, two hours without having a cigarette, you're fucked. Like, you can make up for it later, I promise. I'm so happy I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. Granted, an e-cigarette is not perfect and some people are gonna be like, you're more unhealthy. Well, that's weird, because I actually, Within a week or two of switching this past oh, March or April, didn't really check, um, just kind of happened. Within a week or two though, I had already felt substantially better. And then when I started doing cardio to prepare for this show, the very beginning of May, May 7th to be exact, I felt an immediate difference. Like before, 
walking with my leg, you know, my prosthetic leg, was hard at like a 2.5 mile an hour walk. You gotta remember, it's a missing leg too. So me walking at a 2.5 with a fake leg is probably like you doing a nice little trot at 4.5. All lopsided and shit. Like I was born with two different size legs. It's basically what it is. And quitting smoking in a little bit of practice over the next couple weeks of that too, being consistent. I was doing cardio at over four miles an hour. And I went from doing a mile in about 30 minutes to a mile in about 14 minutes, literally within two, maybe three weeks. So I don't want to hear about your popcorn lung. I know a friend, my so-and-so had popcorn lung. That's really weird. Because I actually know a lot of people. I'm not trying to sound like an arrogant fuck. But I don't know anyone who's ever actually had fucking popcorn lung. So shut up. Quit making shit up. Quit talking just to hear your own fucking voice sometimes. Sit back and listen and watch. I promise somebody else will fill the air with some other stupid shit. Somebody like me, you know? I'll admit it. I say a lot of dumb shit, but I don't care. Um, at least I don't make stuff up. I'm going by experience. I'm only 32, but I got a big variety, wide range of life experience from jobs a lot of vacations, a lot of drug use, a lot of alcohol use. Remember, alcohol is a drug to this guy, because I go to that one, mostly. But yeah, once again, the rant was about smoking, shit like that, but man. Looked over, he's just blowing clouds out of a giant robot dick. Like, dude, it's, it's not fucking cool. It's two in the morning at Planet Fitness. Nobody's here. There's no chicks here just waiting to fucking sit on your face. Believe me, it doesn't work like that anyways. You start going to the gym for chicks to notice you when you're in high school and stuff like that, or get a little bigger, look a little better. Uh, when summer's out, or you go to spring break, doesn't even matter. All of a sudden, all your boys just wanna know how much you bench. So put the stupid e-cigarette away for a little bit. Wait till you get home. Even if your post-workout is a big pile of shit. A half a dozen donuts and three cans of Pepsi. At least your body's getting some sugar and carbs, calories back in it before you start vaping and smoking. And I know it sounds a little judgmental, but there was something my brother put in my head a long time ago now, 17 years ago, and I have actually listened ever since. I have never smoked on the way to or from the gym ever since. It's one of those, sometimes you just hear something and it sticks. It was one of those things. Bionic bro, out.